Hello and welcome to my Surfer SEO and Jasper video. Here I'm going to be utilizing the Surfer SEO content editor and giving you a tutorial about how you can use Jasper to write your content with AI. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my links down below. Jasper does come with a free trial. And of course, if you want to test out Surfer SEO, you can check that out in the link in the description as well. So first and foremost, I do want to show you how you can actually integrate here. When you're logged into Jasper, you want to click on your name down here. And then what you want to do is go to settings. Okay, I already have that open in a new tab. Once you are there, simply click on the integrations button. As you can see, add an SEO tab to your document editor with powerful SEO keyword research and metrics. This is already turned on. And of course, if you need any more help from there, here's going to be how you can access everything, how it works, and so on and so forth when it comes to troubleshooting. I'll keep that open in case we need it later. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, all we need to do is click on the create new content button right here and then new document. All right, and as you can see, as promised, if we look at the top right here, we have our SEO mode. Upon clicking on this, we're going to get the surfer integration on the left side where we can enter in the specific keyword that we want to create content for. So let's do that now. Okay, so what I want to do is just create an article about something just for fun, given the fact this is an example. I love uh, 4K movies and just movies in general. So I want to do a keyword related to something like that. So I'm going to type in are 4K movies worth it. So there we go. Difficulty eh, could be a little bit easier, but volume is going to be 40. Let's click on that. And there's going to be some others. Are 4K Blu-rays worth it? Anything else we wanted to utilize here? I think that's just going to be fine. And let's create for our one content editor credit. So that is loaded up. And keep in mind what I'm going to be doing all throughout this. I'm going to try and cut out a lot of the blank sections. For example, say I want to create content and something is just not as great as I want it to. I just want to refresh it and get more content. I'm just going to take that away just so I can give you the goods or, you know, give you the tutorial as quickly as possible without actually seeing everything I'm doing. But I will tell you what I am doing so you won't be lost at least. Now that that is done loaded, let's click on this right here. All right, and as you can see, we're going to have plenty of great keywords that we can utilize here. And this is going to be great. This is what I like to call like a gamification process. I feel it's like that. It's almost like when you create your content, you get to like go in and see uh, some of the keywords that you need to be using. And the more you fill it up, the higher this is going to get. So now before we continue, there are going to be some things I do want to edit or change around just to make sure that they're working great. Or in my opinion, we're going after some of the better websites to model. So let's click on customize right here. And you're going to see we have our organic competitors. Now, normally what you want to do here is just go for the top 10 ones. We don't care about who's ranking 40 or 50th. Yeah, they might be on their upward. You know, they might be getting towards ranking higher. But at the time, Google is telling you exactly what they like. So let's go with some of the best options here. So to keep in mind, some of these you may or may not want to model after. So in my opinion, it's always a great thing when you see places like Reddit most of the time or like Quora or just like forums showing up there that usually means it's going to be a little bit easier to rank. On the other hand, you do have some of the bigger options here like uh, Collider. They are pretty big when it comes to movies. I would actually put them in there despite the fact they are much bigger. Uh, Decker Suns, four reasons why buying 4K Blu-rays is worth it. We could probably use that one as well. Uh, eight reasons to keep buying. Are they worth it? Is 4K Blu-ray worth it? Uh, is owning a player worth it? That's more of a player. Probably could utilize that one, but I think that's going to be good. If we want to load more competitors, we can do that that way. And let's scroll down a little bit more. Now that we have it, we have our content structure. We're going to be anywhere from 1,988 words up to 2,287. About 10 headings is going to be appropriate from 10 to 41. Terms to use, okay? We have all these terms here. I think this is just going to be fine. These are some of the red ones. Uh, these aren't as big of a deal. The green ones are going to be better. So I like that. And scrolling down. Topics and questions. These are fine. Like you could use these as headlines or subheadlines and some notes as well. Okay. We also have our content structure, or this was just everything here. Notes. This is going to be a little hard to click, but if you scroll down, this is going to say like, okay, we're going to be good to go. So now that we are done with that, what we can do is utilize Jasper for writing this. So just like anything else, what I like doing is just starting off with an outline. So allow me to pretty much tell Jasper exactly what we want to do. I want to change the output length to longer. And first, we're going to write pretty much a outline for this. So let's do that now. Okay, so write me an article, an article, write me an outline for an article called Our 4K Movies Worth It. I'm going to hold control and hit enter here and let's see what we get. Okay, cool. So introducing the topics of 4K movies, what I actually want to do is just get rid of all these numbers here. So I'm going to do that. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I'm going to keep those there. This is going to be kind of like all of our sections or our headings. And what we can do is always go back and add more headings or specific ones that we want to utilize that were in here. So here we have introduced the topic of 4K movies and their increasing popularity. So we're pretty much saying exactly what we wanted to do. I'm going to hold control and hit enter and let's see what we get. Wow, we and just like that, uh, I'm I hopefully I won't go back and like not chop that up because that wrote so quickly. OK, so talk about being increasingly popular, uh, they're referred to as UHD as the resolution. Uh, the use has become commonplace in many films and television shows. Uh, it's an immersive viewing experience. The increasing popularity is changing the way we watch forever. So that's a pretty good introduction, just pretty much talking about, um, you know, why you should watch them overall. So let's go here. Let's just say we want to do the advantages and disadvantages of 4K. So let's do that. How about this? OK, so this is going to be a headline here. I'm just going to do H2. Of course, we can have our title up at the top right here. Right. You know, our 4K movies worth it. We can do that after we'll wordsmith it a little bit better. So I also want to just copy because we're going to talk about both sides of it. Right. So are they worth it? There's going to be reasons to get them and not get them or not watch them. Right. This advantages. So what I want to do is write this first. OK. And I'm just going to copy this in case I don't like what it wrote and I can redo it. I'm going to hold control and hit enter. All right, perfect. So the major advantages is going to be the clarity and detail, improved visuals. I'm just kind of quickly skimming through, right? So next we have the disadvantages. So what I want to do is make our next headline the disadvantages of watching a 4K movie. Once again, I'm just going to copy this or highlight it and copy it in case I don't like it. Then I can undo, paste it, and do it again. Hold Control and hit Enter. I love how quickly it writes. They've definitely improved upon that. So the drawbacks is going to be its cost, its limited selection, and the issue of storage space. Okay, storage space, excuse me. So in conclusion, probably might not have to have that in conclusion there. So we also have, it's funny because I put talk about the advantages and the disadvantages. And that's pretty much what the next sections were going to be about. If only I had looked further, I would have realized that that was there. So the drawbacks, okay. Consider whether or not it's worth investing. Okay, how about that? Whether or not it's worth investing in a 4K television for the purpose of watching movies. And the answer is going to be yes. Okay, because of course, we're going to talk about when you create something like this, you got to know like where you stand with it, right? So are they going to be worth it? You know, you could be middle of the road, but just for the sake of this example, uh, let's do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just copy this in case I want to rewrite it. I'm going to move my cursor here, hold control and hit enter. Okay, so it's worth investing in while there are some drawbacks and so on and so forth. They're definitely worth it. Improved visual, sound quality, all that fun stuff. Once again, we have another headline here and you're going to notice as we write more, as we add more, our score keeps going up and up and up. Okay, so compare prices between standard HD TVs. Cool. So here we're going to have a headline here. Uh, this will eventually be this. I just haven't come up with something cool yet, and we can always change it later. So this is going to be our next paragraph. Compare prices between standard HD TVs versus 4K TVs. Uh, there was a little bit talk about it, how like there could be cost, but there was nothing specific. So let's see how this does. Once again, I'm going to hold control and hit enter. Okay, so we got a quick... Uh, I could say a short amount of content there. So this was, let's just say, comparing, let's say like verse HD TV, something like that. Let's make this a headline. Good. Look at the different streaming services that offer access to 4K content. Let's say and talk, add a little bit more and talk about the benefits. Once again, I'm just going to copy this. And let's hold control and hit enter. All right, great. So it talks about overall investing in a 4K TV for watching movies can provide viewers with an immersive uh, cinematic experience. Talks about Netflix here and Amazon, which is great. I believe there's Amazon. Yep, Amazon Prime, uh, streaming services. And so we're right here. Let's just do like 4K for streaming. Okay, once again, I'm not like going super in depth with a lot of these headlines. We can change them around later. I just want to put them there so that we know what we were talking about. So last but not least, this would be the conclusion. Summarize the key points and provide conclusion on whether or not purchasing, viewing a movie in 4K is worth it. And it is certainly, let's say, worth it. Once again, I'm just going to copy this. 
The reason I copy this is for example, let's say I want to write this and I don't like what came out. I can just delete it all and then paste this in again and just rerun the output. So holding control and hitting enter. In conclusion, investing in a 4K TV is certainly worth it if you're looking for that. So once again, this is a good example of say like a 4K TV. We did talk about 4K TVs, but we want to talk about like 4K movies more specifically. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm glad it, it worked out like this. I'm going to paste this back in here. Whether or not, let's see, purchasing, viewing a movie in 4K is worth it. Okay, so let's maybe rewrite it a little bit. Okay, so I changed it up a little bit. Talk about why purchasing 4K movies and 4K TVs is worth it and summarize some of the biggest points in the article. Let's hold control and hit enter. So in summary, uh, a 4K TV and accessing 4K content can provide better picture quality compared to standard HD television sets. Furthermore, there are now more streaming services available. That means that movie lovers can enjoy the immersive cinematic experience of 4K technology from home without breaking their bank account. So fantastic. Let's do another H2 here. Okay, so at this moment, we have 1600 words. And remember, we need a few more. So let's look for a spot where maybe I can add some more uh, comparing HD prices. Our 4K TV is worth investing in. The disadvantages uh, of watching a 4K movie. See some of the advantages. I think that looked pretty good. And we have our introduction. So let's add our title here, R. And if you'll notice, before I do this, you're going to see our 4K movies worth it. Let's just put that as our title. You're going to see how it's going to light up. There it is. And just like that, one out of one. So this is the fun thing about how when you go through, it's like it, it kind of gamifies it where you can go through and just start adding a lot of these popular words, like these specific keywords in here. Obviously, we haven't talked about Blu-ray a lot. So let's just say we want to add one more section, advantages of watching a 4K movie, the disadvantages. Let's see. Let's add something right here. How about this? Okay, so we have 4K movies versus Blu-ray movies. Here we go as our header. And once again, I'm going to copy this. We're just comparing the biggest differences and talking about why 4K is better. Let's hold control and hit enter. All right, great. So we talked about the difference is going to be the, uh, let's see, ability to watch content HDR is the audio capabilities. And of course, like the definition of it. Great. Is there anything else we can look in here to say like, special features, less compression. And let's, cause we're just right below the amount of words we wanna have. So we only need a little bit more. So let's just say we wanna redo this one to add more. So I'm gonna do that just so we can get some more words in here. So I put right a few paragraphs about why 4K TVs are worth buying. Okay, let's hold control and hit enter. All right, perfect. So we have, let's see all things considered. We have our TVs worth investing in. We have much more content. So our words is actually really good now. We got the check mark. So we're going to need a few headers and more paragraphs and of course images, but images I usually just like doing when I throw the article into it. So most of this, like some of the biggest things here, obviously we can add more paragraphs. We can break it up a little bit more in order to do that. So we only need five more paragraphs. For example, I'm just going to, you know, add these in here just to show you what it would look like when we uh, make that part green. Normally, I wouldn't do that in an article. I just want to show you how the uh, the scoreboard changes a little. So we have 31 paragraphs. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one. Let's go right here. And let's say this looks pretty big. So let's change it around. Is there? There we go. And 33. So images, headings, uh, we would need a few more headings as well. But now I'm just going to quickly go through and show you how you can kind of like this is the gamification process. This is the fun part. So this is going to be our H1. It's going to be our title. And what we want to do is start mentioning a lot of these in here. So we have Blu-ray disc, Blu-ray player. All right. So let's just take a look like vibrant colors. So anytime we can like use that in here, this enhanced details, or we could just say like this. You know, just as like a way of adding it or vibrant colors. Okay. And just like that, it lights up. Okay. So I don't think there's a whole lot I need to do when it comes to this because it's more about going in and saying like, where can I add these where it makes sense? Another issue is the limited selection for viewers to choose from. So do we have like Netflix in here? Okay. So we've used that. Do we have Amazon? No Amazon. Let's just see, like H, anything with HD. When compared to traditional HD platforms, this means they might have trouble viewing the titles they want to satisfy their viewing needs. Like 
in other words, um, it can be harder to support HDR. That might not make a ton of sense. Once again, I'm just showing you how like they, they light up when you uh, go through it. And this is pretty much going to be the process that you go through when it comes to utilizing Jasper and Surfer SEO. Just kind of giving you my thoughts. What I like doing here is coming up with an outline, understanding what you want to use for your headings. And of course, you can always go over here to show how many you need. Uh, it looks like we got rid of a paragraph, so we're going to need one more. And of course, if there's any specific questions here like titles, uh, headings, it kind of shows you what others are using. Are 4Ks worth buying? Are 4K movies better than streaming? You can use some of those if you want. That's going to be up to you. But this just comes out to adding more of these words here, taking some of them out if you're using too many. For example, TV is used 14 times, but you know we could obviously replace that, say, with like television multiple times just to reduce the number that we are using. And that's going to be the process. Uh, this was a whole lot of fun when it comes to doing this. I've used Surfer so many times, but like this is going to be the first time I've actually gotten to combine it with Jasper. So it's happy to do this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, I will have my links in the description where you can test out Jasper. And of course, if you want to integrate it with Surfer, there will be a link for that. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.